Hello. I'm proud today to be interviewing the current master of the Worshipful Company of Distillers and launch our first video on social media, and in this case particularly on the YouTube channel. Kenny Mackay, who, as his name suggests, is a very proud Scotsman with a long pedigree in the Scottish whisky distilling industry, and he joined the livery in 1996. So tell us, what does being a member of the Worship Company of mean to you personally? Well, the distillers have three core uh, principles, in my, in my view. Charity, fellowship, and education. On the education front, we have very strong links with educator partners, the Winster Education Trust, Institute of Brewing and Distillation, uh, and the ICBD at Harriet Watt. On the fellowship side, um, it's slightly different at the moment because of the coronavirus situation. But charity, however, is very much at the heart of what I see the livery's role, particularly in this uh, COVID and a post-COVID situation. Just tell us a little bit now, perhaps, about what it was like becoming master and what it really meant to you. Um, it's a huge honour, obviously, but as it comes with the honour comes a huge responsibility. And one of my roles is representing one of the UK's biggest uh, industries within the city of London. Uh, and trying to put the case for the spirits of the industry. So we've heard a little bit about over that period, but what was your ambition for your year? Very much to raise the charity flag very firmly to the top of the flagpole. Um, I think we've been pretty successful in that. We've raised a lot of money. Um, in fact, I think at this point, nearly £120,000, or well over £120,000. Mm. 100,000 of that going to the Drinks Trust um, and something which is badly needed because of the redundancies and um, short-term job losses in the, in the hospitality sector. Mm -hmm. So apart from the 100,000 raised the Drinks Trust, where did the rest of the funds go? Well, the £20,000 cheque which we presented to the Lord Mayor yesterday will go to Future Youth Zone in Barking and Dagenham. Uh, the chief executive of that charity, Gavin Evans, uh, attended the finish, a uh, very charitable individual. Um, he gave up his bike uh, to one of the riders who'd had an accident and crashed, so he, he had to come in on the support vehicle. <laughs> but uh, we, he gave a very, very good insight at our final Thanksgiving service uh, last night into what they do in Future Youth Zone. Um, and that's really improving life chances for young people, helping those people that otherwise uh, might end up on the wrong side of the track and get on the right track and um, it's a charity I feel very passionate about. It's a modern take on a, an old-fashioned youth club but with fantastic facilities and highly trained people helping inspire these young people. I think it's fair to say you've, you've had a year of two halves, Master, with the pandemic and and when you reflect on how you feel about it, can you tell us a little bit about that? Let's say the period November to March and the period from April to September. Well, the first half of the year was a very typical master's year. We had um, a lovely installation dinner, which will remain with me for the rest of my life. We had uh, some fantastic functions. I was guest at a number of functions, represented the company throughout the city. Um, and then with the, with the onset of the virus, I had to cancel the court trip to Japan. We had to find a new way of working. We started the Master's Task Force and, and we got on with raising money for the Drinks Trust, which I mentioned earlier. Um, it's been completely different, um, but I still like to think that the values of delivery um, saw us through and will see us through. Mm. And perhaps you could tell us, why are you launching a YouTube channel for the livery company? Is it, is it part of a wider scheme? Absolutely. It's, um, it's very much part of what the marketing team have been involved in. Some excellent initiatives, this being one. But in a livery world where fellowship, one of the key planks, is not really possible in a physical sense, we need to find ways of keeping engaged with our membership and the wider livery family. And I think the YouTube channel is just a further addition to some of the excellent initiatives uh, they've been involved in. Splendid. 
So if you cast back your mind over the last 10 or 11 months, what for you has been probably the most memorable experience of your year? Well, apart from ending up in a hedge in the, uh, <laughs> in the bike run after a major crash. Uh, uh, but no, but, but, but seriously, the uh, uh, very, very fond memories of the, the installation. Uh, one does have a, a mm. bit of a lump in one's throat. And uh, yeah, that's probably my biggest memory. Fabulous. Well, thank you so much for giving us such a great and powerful insight into your year as master. Now, rapidly, I fear, drawing to a close. For now, though, Slangevar. Slangevar.